over there. They are right, right there, there. And, and interestingly interesting enough, enough, if you turn around and look at where they are standing, I'll tell you a story. That good friend of mine, that lady who is holding a baby, that baby is me. <laughs> and that's why she is carrying, he, she is carrying Degwa so that I can grow. He is uh, not that old. Thank you very much, <laughs> Mama Maria. Right? Thank you. Mr. Wahome, please. Thank you. May I also recognize all of you. You have come here as friends of this family, and I know there are certain people that we will be recognizing as we go through. Kwa hivyo, wale wako hapa, wajisikie wako nyubani. Tuko na papo ti hapa, usiende kabla hujachukua kidogo, uende na yokapikie huko nyubani. Asante ni sana. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Banandewa, for that uh, very, very good introduction. Now we know your family, and we can see their wonderful, wonderful family. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I've seen Engineer Awanjohi there. Nawaitura Lele, Mwago Uko. Engineer Mutonyi Nakendamu Anahaha. Tulena Senator, former Senator uh, Kebi Getura, Akule uh, Muranga. Kebi Netu Kwede Temono Karibisana. Uh, thank you so much. Now we will go to the tributes. And I want to start with the uh, uh, dental suit. And Dr. Nafari Masharia, I think you are around. Dr. Nafari Masharia. Right. Uh, we we'll go now to Nairobi Dental Suit. Dr. Kituku. Dr. Kituku, you're around. Or Dr. Gachanja. Not Gachanja, Gakonyo. Good morning, Muriaga. Um, my name is uh, Dr. Momo Kituku. I work as an Nairobi dental surgeon. Can you hear me now? Yeah. My name is Dr. Momo Kituku. I work uh, in various places. But for the purposes of uh, this tribute, I work as an Nairobi dental suit. It's a small practice that is run by Dr. Gakonyo, who is seated somewhere over there. You can wave. Uh, Dr. Linus, who is just behind me, and myself. We have uh, just a small um, group of members of staff. We have Eunice, Sylvia, and Jackie. And they have sent me to represent them and read a, a message. Now, when I looked at the program earlier on, I realized that I'm going to give a tribute for the Kenya Dental Association, which um, has a chairman, and our chairman or president is Dr. Linus. And so in the interest of time, I have decided to combine the tribute. And um, you will see as we move ahead why. So, God is good, and all the time, and that's his nature. I'm also a close friend to 
Kathy and Linus. And I've known the two for about a decade and a half. So let me first recognize um, church ministers and the clergy in general, and the family, as you've seen, the Gishangis, the Ndegwas, and the neighbors, uh, both here and in Nairobi, where we've been hosted for the last one week uh, very well, in our peaceful place. Uh, distinguished guests, and also allow me to recognize um, particular interest groups uh, in the fraternity, and by this I mean in the dental and healthcare. So we have the KDA Council, we have, um, we have the Secretariat of the same council, we have the Kenya Medical and Dentist Council, we have the School of Dentists who will speak for themselves. We have other dentists, students, we have other medical doctors, pharmacists, and other healthcare workers. Ladies and gentlemen, it is with immense sorrow that we received the sad news of the sudden demise of our friend, colleague, and member, Dr. Kathy Washira. And on behalf of the larger fraternity, receive our deepest sympathies during this trying time. It is well, yet it is not well. In describing Kathy as a person, Kathy was a very bubbly, energetic lady with an infectious smile, an infectious laughter, and when she was not laughing, she was smiling. She brought so much positive energy and warmth wherever she went. Uh, regarding her career, she was such an achiever in constant pursuit of knowledge. She was a very dedicated practitioner and a keen and with, with a keen and genuine interest in her patients' well-being and their treatment outcomes. She was loved by colleagues, students, and the entire staff around her, wherever she worked. So many entities wanted a piece of Kathy. Strathmore University Medical Center, VIP Dental, School of Dental Sciences, the Nairobi Dental Suit, and many others. Her stand at the Kenya Dental Association. She was our first lady. She was a dependable member of the fraternity, that is the Kenya Dental Association, and she delivered on her role. She took up several roles and delivered on each one of them. She was very supportive of the press. She was very supportive of the president and the council as a whole. She was always present during our annual scientific conference, which has not been held for a while due to the pandemic. She shared in many of the association's activities and projects. At the home front, I have first-hand um, experience and also reliably informed that she was a great and lovely wife to Linus. She was the best mother to Changi and Degwa. She was the best host and a key part of their entire family. Very well spoken of uh, by the entire family from both sides. She was at one point described as a pillar and an organizer of many get-togethers, leading to a very closely knit family whose values are to be admired. And it is um, through this tribute that I decided to use a bit of discretion and um, include the tribute for the Nairobi Dental Suit where Dr. Cathy participated in the management of uh, several complex cases with uh, very good outcomes, and we are really going to miss her. All members of staff love Dr. Cathy and have enjoyed a good working relationship. Incidentally, she was just in the office just a few days before we got the bad news. 
Um, allow me to convey a message that I was sent by the University Secretary for Strathmore University. Kathy was a, a consultant prosthodontist at the dental suit, which is the dental clinic in the Strathmore University Medical Center. She was very keen and concerned with infection control. She was loved by all the members of staff, and we have quite a number of them who came to um, help her in this final journey. Do you have SUMC members, can we? Yeah, we have Dr. Ambugu there. There's several of us who work with Kathy over there. You might have found out by now that she was also studying an MBA in healthcare management at the Strathmore Business School. So kindly receive condolences from the Vice Chancellor of Strathmore University, the University Secretary, and the management committee that runs the, the Strathmore University Medical Center. And of course, the entire um, medical center staff. In conclusion, our dear Kathy, uh, rest in peace. Fly with the angels to town and Achena. And to Linus and the family, I assure you, we will remain supportive of you now and beyond. Oleni Sana. Uh, thank you so much, Dr. Kituku, for representing the Kenya Dental Association, the Nairobi Dental Suit, and the uh, Strathmore Medical Center, uh, where, Catherine, uh, where Catherine's life intertwined with all those uh, institutions. And uh, next, I'd like to call upon uh, Catherine's neighbors from Buruburu. Uh, is Faith Mukeni around? Faith Mukeni. Uh, she prepares herself. Uh, someone from St. George's, Susan Karemi. Susan Karemi. Tafadali Njo. And as Susan is coming, I'll ask uh, Dr. Stella Kubasu to prepare herself, uh, followed by Ruth Irongo. Stella Kubasu, followed by Ruth Irongo. That is after Susan, yeah? And I'll ask us to keep it to between two to three minutes, uh, short, brief, and, uh, and sweet. Thank you. My name is Susan Karemi Kaimenyi. Um, I've known Catherine practically my whole life because uh, we were brought up in Buruburu together. Um, we went to the same nursery, same primary, we were classmates in secondary. Um, when we got married, we were in each other's lineups. When we got children, we were still friends. So I've known Catherine, and we were close until the end. Uh, we shared so many secrets, and uh, used to joke that we better take those secrets to the grave. And I never, I never imagined such a day. I never ever thought such a day it, um, it is so unbelievable but so I'm here to give a tribute on behalf of St. George's, her friends from St. George's some of them were at the church, I think some of them are here today so I'll just give the short tribute Sorry. our dear sweet friend Catherine your friendship was such a blessing to all of us. You kept in touch with so many of us from primary school all the way to secondary school. <laughs> Whether you were in Kenya or abroad, she remembered our birthdays, our anniversaries. She used to send cards to me even when she was in South Africa and I'm sure many people here will remember that. And most of all, we remember her because she was, she always showed up. Whatever function you had, she always showed up. We loved her because of that. She made time. Somehow she made time for all of us. Had other people say, 
somehow, even among her busy career, her family life, somehow she made time for all of us. She was a great role model who managed to have it all. She had a wonderful family, she had a stunning career. Um, and, but through all that, she never lost her winning smile and her hearty laughter. You will miss that so much. She, was, she had a positive attitude to everything. I don't think anybody ever saw Catherine gloomy, even when things were rough. She was a perfect lady to the end. So we say farewell, our friend. May your beautiful soul rest in peace till we meet again. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much, Susan. Dr. Stella Kubasu, are you around? What is good? And all the time? I'm going to read a tribute. I would like to give a tribute as an office, and this is what I'm going to read. Kathleen was a superhero at her office, where she worked for four years, from 2014 to 2020. And our dental practice over the past 30 years has had great colleagues working together for the betterment of the practice. Dr. Kishangi was one of them, building our practice to greater and higher heights. Our dental practice has lost an intelligent, hardworking, credible, dedicated and loving colleague. Always radiant, with a beautiful smile, full of positive energy, great interpersonal skills, both to colleagues, staff, and clients. A great team player indeed. Kathy added a lot of value to our dental practice with meticulous postgraduate skills from the University of Witwatersrand in Johannesburg, a qualification she pursued while practicing at her office. For a long time, we will have to face the reality of having to explain to our clients about Dr. Kathy's absence. She had made such a great brand for herself within the practice. In fact, sometimes some clients would refuse to be attended to me since they only knew Kathy. Dr. Kathy, we can hear you in the background. I have lived my complete cycle. Work left uncompleted, I will not worry about. Pick it up and move. This force will continue to steer us forward in the days ahead. Our sincerest, sincerest sympathy to Dr. Linus and the young boys. Praying that God will give you the strength and ending comfort, peace and grace in the days to come. Only God knows our days on earth. May God help us. May God continue to teach us to live each day as though it was our last. To love, laugh, dine, and see God's goodness and mercy. Kathy, you will be dearly missed and remembered by all of us. I think some of our office members are here. We can wave it there in the crowd. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Stella Kubasu. I'll ask uh, Dr. Johnson. Dr. Johnson from the BDS class of uh, 2005, which Catherine joined after coming from South Africa. I'm a the new the little new guy. Uh, my name is Dr. Wambugu. Um, we are the, um, representing the class of 2005. Uh, we, Dr. This is Dr. Kasi, who is here with me. Um, when when Kathy came back from South Africa in uh, 2005, we are the ones who she jo she joined our class and we did internship together. And actually, I was partnered with her. She was actually my partner for about six months and uh, what I can say is that she was Kathy was somebody who was very easy to work with she was uh, very uh, compassionate to her patients Excellent. and I remember there's this instance once where uh, we had an accident somebody came was brought to Kenyatta uh, at the middle of the night mm -hmm. and Kathy was on, was on call and I was the one who was, uh, was in Kenyatta that day and uh, I remember Kathy woke me up at around midnight 
go and attend to this patient together with her. And remember, we, we, were, we worked together until morning. Every time we used to talk about this, we would laugh about it because we, we stitched up a guy for about five hours together what? and what? while having fun. Um, he had this infectious love that all of us will miss about her. And uh, later we said, uh, in November she joined the mm -hmm. where we were, we were also working together. And uh, what I can say to Linus is that we promise that we will be there for you as your friends. And uh, we really miss her. Uh, I just want to say that Kathy's smile was so disarming. Now when she smiled, when I met her first and she smiled at me, I felt like God was patting me in my soul and telling me it's going to be okay. And we are going to miss Kathy and we feel lost for words and devastated by what has happened. But we know that life is a privilege and uh, we celebrate her life and Linus, we love you. You know, we loved her, but we love you also and uh, your family. You God granted you a beautiful woman, a great smile, a lovely person. She impacted even those of us when we didn't have many conversations. And that's why we're here today. We love you, Kathy. All right, uh, thank you so much, uh, uh, Dr. Kari. I will now call upon Dr. Naftali Masharia from the Nairobi Dental, uh, from the VIP Dental Suite. Uh, practice in which country was a founder and director. children when you are removing their teeth and doing things. Come on, yeah, yes, I believe in God. Then the second one, she looked at me, oh, no, I like restraining kids. Uh, she told me, yes, we do not restrain kids. We want us to be fresh. We grow up, we can have How good and amazing she was to everyone across all ages. Uh, let me get my tribute and the one for the clinic. Tribute to my mentor and my boss. I'm totally lost for words and still in disbelief that this happened. I still hope that uh, one day I will be a net again. And I used to do a cure over the clinic. I think like when, I, when I'm seeing my patients, I will hear you laugh out loud the police station. So much in the But we will not cry because it's over. We will smile because it's happening. Because it was because we did it. We love so much jokes and dance.
more than a book but more of a mentor. forward and every day we'll be reminded of you by the boys Dr. Linus, Liz and the other family members and friends. So Dr. Linus Uh, Dr. Naftali uh, for giving us a bit about uh, Catherine. Uh, Catherine always laughed and I uh, was a very happy person. And uh, uh, we always told Linus that uh, he's not a funny man, he's just like he has a happy wife. And uh, we'll see whether his jokes uh, are funny. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Naftali. Now I will ask uh, University of Nairobi, the representative from the University of Nairobi, is a dean of Dental Sciences around, or their representative? Is it the Dean of Dental Sciences around? Okay. Uh, I will ask, ask the former, former Dean of Dental Sciences, the Dean of Dental Sciences, at the Dean of Dental Sciences, at the University of University, where Catherine worked, she was a prosthodontist in the division of conservative, in the division of prosthodontics, at the, at the Department of Conservative and Prodontic uh, Dentistry in the school. school. So, so thank, thank you so much, uh, Dr. Dr. Uh, Regina, as you make your way. Oh, and oh, also, also the former dean as well, some of the dentists around. around. Uh, uh, Karibuni Sana. I will ask all the dentists to be upstanding, because uh, Catherine was an important member of our fraternity. All the dentists can be upstanding, so that you can see them. Pungeni uh, watu Kono Hewani, and then uh, there's one of Kai Chini. And also the chief dentist at the Ministry of Health uh, is around. So you can also wake up and wave. That is Dr. Miriam Moravi. Ah, Asantini. Um, good morning. Morega. Uh, um nearby Wafanikazi Wenzango and I am actually looking around because I expect them to be around. I had seen the university bus um, in the market. So if the University of Nairobi uh, group has arrived, please uh, come forward. Um, so I actually expect them to be here. But my name is uh, Dr. Regina Mutave. I'm the immediate former dean, and uh, I can say I worked with uh, Catherine uh, while I headed the school since uh, 2016. I took over from my colleague here, Professor Gadeshe, who will say maybe one word. And um, it is very difficult to express um, what we feel, uh, what we felt since we lost Catherine because she was a very, very special person. Um, Catherine, as you have heard, was a very great mentor. And that's why she could be able to pick even um, students that she has been able to mentor and bring them close to her and be able to um, teach them how to be dentists. And um, um, it is really a sad situation because it takes us so much energy and input for the school to develop somebody to where Catherine was at the moment of her demise. 
and um, it is um, not a joke, it is not easy to replace persons with those kind of abilities. Um, so it is um, a sad moment for us, but um, I believe many of us are believers. Uh, we know that um, she's gone to a better place and we will only be able to follow. Um, so, <laughs> Dr. Lina Stego, we have worked with you and we have worked with Catherine. Uh, take her. We shall continue supporting and we shall continue being there. And uh, so that I do not look like I'm uh, taking away the protocol, the University of Nairobi was supposed to be uh, represented here, first by the chair of the department and then the dean and um, of course our deputy principal. So I'm going to ask uh, Professor Gadeshe to say a word of um, condolence to the family and then um, uh, we'll have Dr. Osino take over. Thank you. Yes, uh, Morega. Uh, 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 family. Uh, my son, Raina. Sita Catherine was my daughter. And uh, uh, I'm with the uh, Amoso Agishangi, Ukuma Kerenyaga. My daughter, Narainas, the family, the Kualia Muno, Praise the Lord. Oh, my name is uh, Dr. Tom Dienya. Oh, we used to work, where we worked with Catherine in the same department for almost six years. Uh, I think even more. Uh, before I welcome the chairman who will be representing the dean and the vice chancellor, I would just like to say something very brief. <clears throat> when Catherine joined us, you know, uh, she's, she studied abroad and there was a bit of skepticism about it. So it took long, but when she came, she came with a lot of vigor and energy, more so in the way that she was doing things in the department. She was always very, very jovial. Uh, and as, as her boss, I was the then chairman of the department, one of the attributes that she brought was the ability to take up any task that was allocated to her without any complaints. And that, that thing made our life very, very easy in the administrative cycle. And I would like to say that the greatest legacy that we can remember is ability to take tasks without complaints. And also she had a very, very effective smile. <laughs> Whenever you meet her, she was always smiling. In fact, I was even wondering at one point when she came to my office, what will it take to annoy this lady? <laughs> so that was Catherine, very jovial ready to help us in the task, and she really changed things. It is an understatement to say that we'll really miss her in the department, we'll really miss her very acutely. She interacted a lot. And before I hand over to the chairman, we have a student leader who just wants to say a word. I know you are pressed with time, but I'll just call her Kali to come and say a word. Then I'll welcome the chairman, who will represent both the dean and the vice chancellor. Sorry, you had a bit of hitch on the way, but we have come, all of us, to the students. Please come. Mr. Student, please come over. All the students from the University of Nairobi, please come over. I think we don't have time. Uh, Dr. Olivia, first. Why did you just read the message from the Vice Chancellor? I know uh, anyone. All of us would want to say something about Catherine, but we don't have time. Please bear with us. Good morning, everybody. Uh, so I'm Dr. Olivia Osiro, and uh, I am the chair of the department where Catherine worked with uh, diligence and dedication until her demise. 
and uh, I would like to extend sincere condolences to the family and friends uh, of the late Dr. Gishangi. Uh, she was a beloved colleague in the department, and you can see uh, how many of uh, uh, her colleagues and even her students uh, who she taught um, with diligence and dedication have come to um, uh, pass their condolences and just to uh, join the family in uh, sending her off. So uh, to the family and um, uh, to Linus, to the children, to your parents and your siblings, please receive our sincere condolences and uh, we pray that uh, Catherine's soul uh, may rest in peace. So I was sent uh, on behalf of the Vice Chancellor to relay uh, condolences from the University of Nairobi and I'll just read this. So to the family of the late Dr. Catherine Jerry Gishangi of the Department of Conservative and Prosthetic Dentistry, uh, School of Dental Sciences, University of Nairobi. Message of condolence. The University of Nairobi has learned with deep sorrow and regret of the untimely death of the late Dr. Catherine Jerry Gishangi on Saturday, May 22nd, uh, 2021, while undergoing treatment at the Nairobi Hospital. The late Dr. Gishangi was a tutorial fellow in the Department of Conservative and Prosthetic Dentistry at the College of Health Sciences, University of Nairobi. Dr. Catherine Gishangi joined the university as a tutorial fellow in the department in, uh, in 2013. She graduated with a Master of Science in Dentistry in prosthodontics from the University of Witwatersrand Run in 2019. During this time of mourning and deep sorrow, on, by, on my behalf and that of the entire University of, the, uh, of Nairobi community, I wish to convey our heartfelt condolences to you, relatives and friends of the late Dr. Gishangi. We pray to God to give you grace and strength at this most difficult time. May the almighty God rest her soul in eternal peace. Signed, Professor S.G. Kiyama, Vice Chancellor, University of Nairobi. Uh, so I'll also just uh, encourage uh, the family with a verse from Psalm uh, 34, verse 18, which says, uh, The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. Please be comforted, the family of the late Dr. Gishangi, and may her soul rest in peace. Thank you, family. Mr. Okari. As he comes, let's I have the senior colleagues with Dr. Wangare, Mr. Karia, Edaria, uh, Dr. Susan Maina, is one of the senior most, uh, former KD uh, treasurer, Dr. Kisumbi, that one I can't even recognize, ah, Sibyl, Uganda, uh, Dr. Nyaga, Dr. Wetende, and uh, Ebo Maano. Maano. Uh, Okari, just wave, and the student wave. Just come here as the leader, you wave and just say, follow it right now. I know all of you want to talk, but we don't, in the interest of time. Uh, the, at least, yes, just here. <laughs> Dr. Kishangi was a very loved lecturer, and we are sad to see her go. We wish your family all the best and go to comfort. Uh, thank you, Prof. Uh, let's give them a clap. They've done a wonderful job and they've come in numbers. Dr. Pigema Coffee. You can see Catherine was loved. Eh? Uh, Dr. Nimorona. And Dr. Mwede, Dr. Nairofi. So, where Catherine and Linus stay, that's at Lelesho Gardens, they've been so kind to us during this period of uh, money, allowing us to set up tents. And I will ask one of them, that is Eunice of Fula. Uh, to kindly come and give a tribute on behalf of their neighbors uh, quickly. Thank you, Eunice. As Eunice is doing that, I'll ask Wanjeri from BD Primary School. This is where Catherine attended her primary school uh, that she did here locally, not abroad. So I will ask Wanjeri. Thank you very much. Good morning. Muri agai nyo ade. Mwake iyo. Ah, mwake maito. Yeah. So um, I'm a, we were Dr. Catherine's neighbors, and we did not really know her as Dr. Catherine, but rather as Mama Shangi or Mama Ndegwa, uh, because neighbors in Nairobi don't talk to each other. 
I mean, how many of us know our neighbors, those who live in Nairobi? <laughs> yeah, so most of the time we are connected by our children who play together. That's what happens. And therefore, we get to know each other as Mama Nani rather than the real person. However, um, I think uh, for us, we, we are about two years or three years old, at, uh, we actually three years old at Lelesha Gardens. When we walked in there, we were afraid. Will my child get someone to play with? I have one child and she's lonely most of the time. <laughs> so I don't know, those of us who were brought up alone, they could know how that feels. And immediately my daughter joined the community at Lelesha. She met the boys and uh, the boys were everything to her. And that's how we met the mother and we met the father. And we were surprised to learn that the father was also um, a schoolmate to my husband. I think we discovered that one day when we were in the lift and Linus asked Godfrey, were you in Lenana? And uh, we realized the bond is not just the children. And we started talking as families and um, many of the times it would be in the lift or downstairs at the parking or where the children played together. We got to meet the father, Linus's father, Linus's mother, everybody in the family. And somehow we really felt like members of this family. Um, when I met uh, Linus's father one day when the kids were playing together outside and both I and Dr. Catherine were there, he told me that he came from that uh, they come from Nyeri, and we started having this conversation of where. Little did I know that it was about 10 kilometers from where I come from. I grew up in a village called Kiando, which is three centers from here. I'm sure those who live there know this place. And um, you know, in in this connection, you realize that as humans, there's a lot more that connects us. We are just separated by fear most of the time. But there's a lot more that connects us. The reason most of us in Nairobi don't talk to each other, we really want to. But there's a fear that if I talk to my neighbor, what happens? There's a lot more that connects us. There's a light. There's a light in every human. There is a connection from human to human. When I first saw Baba Linus, I thought that he looked so much like uh, all my family members, you know, great-grandfathers, grandfathers, <laughs> and all that. And that is why I asked him where he came from. <laughs> so um, I don't want to delve into that, but all I'm trying to say, and anyway, this week the grandmother introduced to her with a surname, Madai, and that's basically my family's surname. I will not get there. Um, so there's a light that connects us. There's a light that shines in every one of us. And this light is a connection from one person to the next. Catherine or Mama Shangi. Mama Shangi wore it in her smile. She wore it in her kindness. To all of us, she was very kind. To my daughter, she was a mother. I mean, my daughter walked into her house, did homework with the boys. Um, they tried on her wigs together all the three of them, plus a few more boys. And uh, we remember Catherine for her kindness. She cared for the community. When COVID hit, Catherine would wake up in the morning and go sanitize the lifts for us. And we'd be like, you know, the doctor has been here, we are good, we are safe. We remember Catherine for her kind uh, light that shone to all of us. She was the definition of the light of love the light that connects all of us, which is love usually, but we don't want to express it all the time. A few of us are courageous like Catherine to express the love to every, everyone, to show her smile to all of us. Catherine's light will shine for, forever. It will shine in our hearts. It will shine in the boys, as we call them. It will shine everywhere we go. Everywhere we are, Catherine is with us. The light she shone to us so freely is shining everywhere we are. Thank you.
Watani Agosho. How many Twajita I don't know. I think if you move that side, it goes up. We went We went to primary school with Catherine. My name is Juan Jerry and we used to play with Catherine. Several of our classmates are here. I have Susan and I have Jim and some other schoolmates as well, Kanyere and One of the things that you haven't heard about Catherine, I had the mom mention it, she was the tomboy on Thursday as well as a sister. I remember this one instance when we went and climbed a tree. Susan was there, I was there. We were going to steal some lookwats. It's okay, don't look at me with that eye. All of us had our kiddie things that we did. And we were caught on that tree by the owner of that house. And when we came down from the tree, she came up, she told us to come down and write our name so that tomorrow morning she will go and tell on us at the assembly. Catherine was the first one to go. And she gave her name that we were like, Ay, are we too evil? She didn't give her name. <laughs> so we all followed suit and gave some fake names. And that's how we got out of that. Catherine was so much fun. Even in primary school, she was a ball of energy. She enjoyed having a good laughter, and she was also very smart. She was very good in math, and something else that she was also very good at, she was lean, and she would do the 1500 meters with such ease. And one thing I learned from Catherine, just to wind up, is that be consistent. I feel sad because We've lost her when she's so young, so much more to do. We all thought we would all grow old together as we share some of the things that we went through even in that BD primary school. It's not to be. But I feel for everyone who's attended this funeral, she's left an indelible mark in our lives. So I'm sure the angels are happy. She's probably having a good laughter with them. She's also probably just doing a little bit of math there she enjoyed doing when we were in primary school. And all I say to her, and to baby Shangi and Degwa, that may God continue to strengthen you. She was here for a purpose. We pray that we will, he will continue to strengthen you here on this journey. And to Catherine, we say to Taunana Badai, it's a bye-bye, and I know we will all go there. We don't know when our, that time will be, but we are all going there. We are on a journey. We are sojourners. It's sad that we didn't get to keep her longer. Uh, thank you so much for the call. I would like the Kenya Dental Association Governing Council to come here. The Kenya Dental Association Governing Council uh, quickly come here and uh, the union leaders who are around. Uh, union leaders who are around, uh, Dr. Mulu, Dr. Turanira, Tafadali Kujeni Apa, and also anyone who's around from the Kenya Medical Practitioners and Dentist Council. I think I saw Dr. Abdi. I saw Dr. Abdi. You know, uh, we also have friends of, uh, uh, of the Association and Dentists, that is the Kenya Medical Association, Dr. Kigundo and your wife, Tafadali Kujeni. You know, we usually joke and say that doctors will marry the people who they stay around, and that is fellow doctors, nurses, uh, waiters, and for some of us, the barmaids. <laughs> so, Dr. Linus married a fellow doctor, so he tells you he works. Sawa sawa. Uh, so, on behalf of the council, I will ask uh, Dr. Wetende strictly in a minute. Wetende strictly in a minute. Tafadali Salimia Watu, Upatiane Risalazaku Zarambi Rabi. Thank you, Tim. Uh, I think we have broken protocol, but uh, thank you. On behalf of Kenya Dental Association, uh, Kenya Medical Practitioners and uh, Dentist Council, 
Kenya Medical Pharmacy MPD to KMA uh, represented by uh, Dr. G Kigondu here. Uh, we are indeed uh, here to show solidarity to our president of Kenya Dental Association. And uh, we love Kathy. If I was to speak about Kathy, I'll repeat what UN has said, what KDA has said. So mine, I'll take a different route. I'll just want to encourage you and uh, to give you support at this very difficult time. We, on behalf of the other practitioners, both medical and dental, we are with you. And uh, we shall be with you. All is well. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Dr. Wetende. Uh, that is Dr. PJ Murioki. Uh, Kitukumumu is our vice chairman. Dr. Mundi, a council member, and also the vice chairman of the Kenya Medical Practitioners and Dentist Union. Uh, prepare yourself to speak. Dr. Malit, Ungiwatum. Uh, that is Jeno Amai, she's our former president, Dr. Ramis, Dr. Munyao, Dr. Abdi from the council, Dr. Liz Buibo, Dr. Halima, Dr. Nyashira, a friend of the dentist, Dr. Turanira, Dr. Mulu, uh, Dr. Kigondu, there are a few faces I don't know, Dr. Chris Martin, Salimiana, and uh, Aisha, an anesthetist, and uh, Lishangawatu. Dr. Mundia, quickly, in a minute. What about you? My name is Dr. Kahura Mundia. I'm the Vice Chairman, Kenya Medical Professional Dentist Union. And today, we are saddened by the loss of one of us, Dr. Kate Kishangi, Dr. Union Number 4238. She was a member of a branch here in Nairobi. And I'd wish to leave this message to my president of the Kenya Dental Association. And he says, Be strong, Dr. Dengwa. We leave you with the words and work of Dr. Henry Scott Holland. He's a professor of divinity from the UK in the 19 year. All is well. Death is nothing at all. I have only slipped into the next room. I and you, I am I, and you are you. Whatever we were to each other, that we are still. Call me by my old familiar name. Speak to me in the easy way which we always used to. Put no difference in your tone. Wear no forced air of solemnity or sorrow. Laugh as we always laugh, at the little jokes and all the moments we enjoy together. Play, smile, think of me, pray for me. Let my name be ever in your circle. Let it be spoken without effect, without the trace of shadow on it. Life means all that it ever meant. It is the same as it ever was, there is an unbroken continuity. Why should, be, why should I be out of mind? Because I'm up, out of sight. I'm just around the corner. All is well. Rest in eternal peace, Dr. Kate Ishang. Be strong, Dr. Degwa. Thank you. So that is the message from the Chairman and the Secretary General, Kenya Medical Dentist and Pharmacist Union. Thank you. Uh, so uh, before you speak, one of the dentists, uh, the Director of Public uh, Prosecution, Haji, Tafadali uh, Aji, as he's preparing himself, Dr. Sharif, Dr. Sharif, father of Dr. Sharif, Professor Sharif. Professor to be Sharif, I'm representing my daughter, Dr. Sharif. She's a lecturer. She was in internship with uh, uh, late Catherine for the last 15 years. They grew up together through the dental school. And she said me, Dad, you must go and represent. She had got some committed uh, errands to do. So she sent me personally. And I passed my condolences to our uh, the family of the late uh, Catherine. So I'll say a small fatia in Islamic. I hope it's okay with the Christians. Can you stand up please for two minutes?
which is in respect of God for us, but Shabbat we need to. And that she is passed on knowledge. It is very, very important. We believe in Islam that if you teach somebody, imagine how many years she's taught at the school, and people, the students are still studying. So, inshallah, thank you so much for giving me the honor. So uh, we have a friend of uh, dentistry, Mushitone uh, Ivi. Thank you very much. Uh, I didn't expect to say anything, um, but I came to confront with uh, a brother, Dr. Linus, who uh, has also been my dentist, but uh, he's also a colleague to my wife, Dr. Aisha, who's also a dentist. I think it will only be right for me to allow her to say a few words because um, I've been for a long time and uh, college mates. But we really just come here to condole Sema Pole and to see her talk. And we pray that she rest in peace. so much uh, uh, my team I'll ask you now uh, to speak Asante Nisana uh, from the Kenya Medical Practitioners and Dentist Council uh, Abdi and uh, uh, Ifa Jenga first uh, a message of condolence to the family uh, Abdi So in a minute, uh, Salimia Watu and uh... God is good. CV as a pistol. God is good. Uh, today we are celebrating the life lived well by, uh, by an academic giant. And uh, she was so brilliant. Uh, speaking English, Swahili, and Kikuyu. I deliver my speech. I will mix up the Swahili languages because uh, we come from various backgrounds. So that at least you can catch at least a word from me. My name is Sam Muita Kikuyu, the Assistant Chief of the Supplication. This area is intact. In fact, even a house fry cannot touch you. <laughs> and uh, to justify that, since you got seated in that, in that seat, maybe a butterfly. I, I, I would like also to take this opportunity to, to thank the OCS for Nyange.
have not had a word from this village. I know the deaf word, Mr. Dewa, I have a word to eat. 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 You always follow. In fact, you have been a member of our big WhatsApp group. Family, but the family was very First of all, most accept to take care of the family. So, to have beloved husband, my children, the family, the Udoriogi, Udoriogi na horoshi wako muhora. You just release him, release her, because she has gone to to her Almighty Father. He has gone to a better place to rest. Ata zizi tu kutu kujian. Ito na rekia upo watwet. Yeah, so that day we move on. So the family, but kanita wakiroga bam, okay manugu di na bere. We give my dolly. Mau lihat korang siapa ni, mau hulero kogo, ada yang mufon. The other thing, ni kita kan disebut yang kuapa, Mr Dewa, he is one of the private tipa monas, who has glorified by subrogation very much. This is not a village subrogation, it is a metropolitan subrogation because it hosts. Uh, all people from Kenya. Uh, 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 I have the Maasai, uh, I have the Karijin, uh, uh, I have Kisi, I have Yaruos, I have people from Rwanda, even from Uganda, <laughs> at the Kenyaka County up to Meru. That's all. So, uh, uh, in my supplication, it, it's a metropolitan because uh, it, 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 because of Mr. Dewa uh, and the Nyao Kison. And the rest of the, 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 the big tea farm owners who, who has domestic, domestic workers. So, Mr. Dewa, we like to thank you very much uh, because of giving, give, giving most of us a livelihood right here. Uh, as I conclude, the COVID 19 regulations. And I can see that most of us are not wearing their masks properly. Therefore, adjust it, okay, in such a way that to look over your nose and the mouth, please, for now. Please. Uh, this issue of washing of our hands, hand sanitizing, wearing of masks, social distancing, uh, and the other protocols that we have given by the government, uh, they are not there to punish us. They are there to protect us. We are talking about your own life. We are talking about the welfare of other people. Uh, the other thing is that since today we are celebrating an academic plant, uh, we are just about to enroll from once in the secondary school. Those people who competed that it uh, in the of April. For that matter, we want to have 100 percent. Therefore, I urge our parents to prepare the children very well. Uh, they had enough time to look for school fees. Don't be, don't be in this because you had a different time to that. So, uh, by the time the intake of one will commence, we don't be in this place. We want to have 100 transition to the school. school. The, the, the other thing, and it was for one we had the KBA NSIF. The, the, the NSIF is carrying out a biometric decision. Therefore, in our area, Wagoko, the Tugadi, Pokoria, Mahiga, Afisi, Ashiko, Yumata, Ogo, Alamaha, Murane, Muradun, Machako, Machinani, Yumata, Rajamania, Pokoria, Mahiga, Ogo, Mudo, the Pona Kadian, Sayer, Nepomani Hagro, Nedikaria County, Napoli Mary Hagira, Napolia Gimat, and Magiano Medicia. So all of them, we are going to invite them there. Lastly, I'm so much happy uh, to, to welcome our visitors from all corners of Kenya. 
this family has a, a great friend, Moruba. Therefore, uh, we appreciate your coming. We know we are to have found some paper. And today, we will be coming up. And, and this, this will be a historic event uh, in, in, in this part. Therefore, uh, thank you very much, and let me God bless you. of time and the start time is just about to start. Uh, so uh, we are going to recognize everybody else. Even the family, they have not given their tribute, but because of the church, we are going to give the church this time. We go on with the mass and then after that we finish with the family members that have not given their tribute. What do I do? MC Namuri de Muena, Munanoa, Mahado Woku, Adua Woku, Munajua DPP, Munamona, a Busimama Kuane, we are Mesumamia in Chietu, eh? Kabisa Imara and Unana Nikijana Mudogo, very young man. Nahakuna corruption for Tini, Sababu Yahu, who is your DPP Kenya? Wanahaji, Nakupenda Sana, because we are with corruption. Na tunapuheshimu sana sana. Na mungu wa kubali. Na kuangesha. Na unawana hii mahali ni mahali ya, mahali ya, 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 ya majani chai. Chai ya utakunwa na itakua chai. Kizuri sana. Sante sana na mungu wa mbali. Sasa nita, nita kibiria kanisa. Yo tuende hapa pengine. So kwaya, tabadhali. Please. Thank you. Kuzikonaiza mash. 
Mira más que de mí.
kwa wa kwa mberuo Mantu Mwere ya gaini wadhe tumoku miye Yesu Christo Yesu na kuroka Hadri ni hafadha in charge wago uko ito father kashoka na neighboring priest father george strength and especially the husband of the church Extended family colleagues and all the people here. Wega wa mwadha ni wito Yesu Kristo oruendo ruangai na kwa tani doya mwomzeru ilo ikara na inyue kahida kaka kakie ha Tuoka kumagari ya Dr. Catherine Nyodo reitana nerimete kuengai Amusho kerele wa hea nire Neguo amotuge Kei karo ine kerea jeso adhira kudhodeka arik. Tu hoere Dr. Catherine na hivyo tuwe hoere. Atogu wa tuwe ruo makiri ya muna wa family yake na relatives. Na sisi wote tuliofika hapa tufarijiwe. Ingawa ubinadamu wetu natuambia ni kama mungu alikosea Lakini mungu hakosi Anajua masiku yale alikupatia wewe na mimi na kila moja Na tunajua yote anayofanya anayofanya kwa wema wetu Eka ito kemotege neguo atuguo ni ingai Ushio wa mohea nire Na wa mwisho kera ahuro kena dhayo Unangalia Tutaendelea na sala ili kwanza tutakase mesa hii Mwadhani nendago kaira dehuru ruine mwadhani iwa mugambo akwa Mwadhani nengo kethuduri ya maoru mwadhani noge hota kwetire leria Amu Mwe wakwane wakirele ili ya igorole ya muga mbo wake Mwe wakwane wakirele ili ya muga mbo wake
Nyondo zenye wa mwadha ni koreza na fozi wa honokia Papa Vito Oregoro, Kuma mora mo aire hero, mo ada ni aroi karana inyue. Ndako Razima we Dr. Catherine Na mae madheruma kolirika na mudhenye wa ufatithio waku Mudhenye olea mudhule paoru watu lirika na giate Hendele ya tuwa batithili odhe ine wa mwadha ni wito yeso kristo Ni tuwa batithili odhe ine wage kuwagi yake Ni tuwa dhile bere la ine nake na toke nyita na nake ge kuine Neguo otawolea kristo wali okirio kumage kuine neo kumio wa hithe Hithwe ona hithwe totore otoro mwero Agege koru watu ya hane tiye na kristo na tokuite take Neto kari okatake hede ya hili okero
Itore ijane doba ye ya ihiga kinyatene. Noni ge nejoe atere. Ate mogori are okuo. Emuoyo. Na ate marigere rio ine newe ukaro gama. Na ikode isisi ya kwa siya kere kia kweha. Na mwere wakwa oyo wanyama wage koruo doreho. Hede eo gona gai. Na nekwe onera gamwe onera. Are wamwe na wakwa. Maitho makwa nemo makamwe rorera. Na tita emogeni. Shugo shia mwadhani. Na fudi yago shokero. 